another successful year for Peyton's Lemonade Stand. A few weeks back, dozens of young people joined this movement to help families in need here in the tri-state. Joining me this morning to talk about how this lemonade empire is growing is are my good friends Peyton and Jess Obert. How Hi. are you guys? It's so good to see you. Thanks good for being here. Yeah, so you guys obviously have, you, all, you guys have done so much in this past month. It's insane. Are you guys getting any rest at all? <laughs> um, we're trying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's talk about how much you guys raised this year from all of the lemonade stands. How much did we so raise? So we raised over $125,000 this wow. year. Oh my gosh. And previously it, it was less than that, right? You got this is a yeah. bump this from is last another, year. Yep. It's another record breaking year. So last mm -hmm. year we finally hit that one hundred thousand dollar mark. Wow. Um, but this year proved to be even bigger. So it was our biggest event yet. That is incredible. That is so awesome to hear. And you guys, not only did you have lemonade stands here in the Tri-State, you also had lemonade stands in Columbus and Cleveland, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. up in, we had a few in the Columbus area and then a few up in like the Sandusky area. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And then 90 of them here in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky and Eastern Indiana. So oh. they were everywhere this year. That is incredible. So I'm assuming you all are already working on next year, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have planned so far? Uh, I mean, we just always get um, additional hosts yes. um, right after the buzz of this year. We have people reaching out to us, different businesses and families. Like, for instance, this year, um, Buskin and Hyde Park hosted a stand. Um, and when they came back to turn in their supplies, they mentioned that they want to get all of the um, Buskins in the area on board next year. Wow. So that's exciting, and that's how we grow um, every year. It's just kind of word of mouth and people having a good experience and then, you know, offering that up. I love that. And for people who don't know, Peyton's Lemonade Stand is typically one day end of July, right? The Saturday, the end yes. of July. It's the always the last Saturday of the month. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And cool. so for people who are watching this, maybe even businesses who are watching this, <laughs> how can they get involved for next year's Lemonade Stand? Sure. They can just reach out to us via the website. So it's PeytonsLemonadeStand.org. Um, and email us and then we can get them set up next year. I think it's July 26th okay. um, will be Peyton's eighth annual lemonade wow, stand. So that's incredible. We had 90 stands this summer. So what you think maybe we could get to over 100 for next summer? Hopefully, yeah, I it'll think, be fun. I think you could, I think you could. And one of the nice things is you guys supply all of the stands and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so um, we provide them with what we call a kit. So they get their logo cups, they get their shirts, they get posters, sponsor banners, lemonade. We give them all personalized flyers to kind of hand out in their neighborhood. Um, and then they take that home. Usually they build their own stand um, mm -hmm. or they just get, you know, card table out of the garage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we try to make it as easy as we can for these hosts so that they have what they need to be successful with their lemonade stand. Yeah, and Peyton, uh, you know, for viewers who don't know or aren't familiar with Peyton's Lemonade Stand, can you tell us how you got started, what, seven years ago? Mm -hmm. So when I was little, like one and a half, two, I was in the hospital for some stomach issues and I had to stay overnight. So they gave me a special teddy bear that was like a comfort item throughout my stay. And that bear means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. And so when I got a little bit older, I decided that I wanted to do a lemonade stand. So I decided to help, like, raise money to help kids facing hardships so they could have comfort items. And this has grown over the course of, you know, these seven years. What charities do you guys donate to now? We donate to a lot of charities. So we donate to children, Shriners, A Kid Again. Um, like Ronald McDonald yeah, Ronald House. McDonald House. Up Spring, Hope's Closet. Mm -hmm. So I think there were over 25 different organizations that we donated to um, just last year. So we're helping kids facing, you know, all kinds of hardships like she mentioned. So kids facing homelessness, kids in the foster care system, kids in the hospital. Um, we're helping kids in underfunded schools um, within CPS. We sent several on memorable field trips last year. So we've really kind of widened our scope um, since 
since its inception seven years ago. Sure, I love that. And you know, this was all just, you have to be so proud of Peyton. I know we've talked about this many, many times and ever I see you, it seems like you're just beaming with pride. But um, I, I know it's it must be incredible to watch your young daughter, Peyton, near 12, right? Yes. Yeah, it must be so incredible to watch her do this. Yeah, yeah of course it makes us very proud. I mean, this was her, her idea and if it were up to me, it would have just been a one and done kind of thing. But she was adamant that we make this an annual event. And, you know, even back then, you know, after year one and year two, we still just, you know, didn't think much of it. But as the years went on, it just continued to grow and grow and into what it is today. And she still um, has a passion for it and mm -hmm. um, really looks forward to this event every year. And and getting you know so many from the community involved in giving back to their community. I love it, and you really do have so many people in the community, which is incredible. Just rallying around you guys. Which yeah, I love. yeah, ninety yeah. host, which was incredible. That is so cool. Well, it sounds like another successful year for you guys. Really quickly, mm -hmm. um, if anyone wants to find out more about Peyton's Lemonade Stand, is there a website or a way to get in touch with you guys? PeytonsLemonadeStand.org. Awesome. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, um, any sort of social media platform. You'll find us. Awesome. Well, Peyton and Jess, thanks so much for coming Thank by. Thank you for having me. us. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.